Hello guys, the latest episode of the series had me on the edge of my seat from start to finish. The tension was palpable as Snake and his crew discussed the recent break-ins at the farm, suspecting the same duo to be behind them. But Snake, being the tough guy that he is, decided to take matters into his own hands and teach the thieves a lesson they wouldn't forget. Meanwhile, Onhid and Einar were having a heart-to-heart -heart outside the well. Onhid is quite taken with Einar, telling him that he's lucky to have earned Sverkel's trust and friendship. But Einar, being a modest chap, couldn't understand why Sverkel would be interested in him. Onhid assured him that he's a good man, causing him to blush and stutter like a love-struck teenager. It's clear that Onhid and Einar's relationship is blossoming, and I can't wait to see what the future holds for them. But the real drama kicked in when Thorgil arrived on the farm. Unlike his younger brother, Olmar, Thorgil is trained in battle and regaled his family and friends with tales of war and conquest. He even gifted Olamar a necklace made of dried ears taken from various slain Englishmen, causing his little brother to freak out in horror. Thorgil went on to recount the legend of their father, the notorious Iron Fist Kettle, but it soon became clear that not everything was as it seemed. Later on, Kettle was faced with a difficult decision when he caught the young brother and sister who had been stealing from the farm. Thorgil suggested cutting off one of their arms as punishment, but Kettle quickly realized that such a severe sentence wouldn't fit the crime. Instead, he opted to hire the family to work on the farm to pay off their debts, with the caveat that they still had to be flogged. Kettle initially tried to keep the number of lashes low, but after seeing the first brutal hit, he took over the punishment himself. The whole episode was a rollercoaster ride of emotions, with each scene expertly crafted to keep me hooked. Even the most mundane moments felt thrilling, thanks to the voice acting, music, and overall storytelling. When Thorfinn was mesmerized by the sprouting crops, I was right there with him, caught up in the wonder and amazement of it all. But the highlight of the episode, for me, was watching Stuart, the young thief, and feeling like I was seeing a young Thorfinn all over again. He was headstrong and intense, with good intentions, but a bit misguided. I can't wait to see how their paths cross in the future, and I'm sure Thorfinn has a lot to teach him. Overall, this episode had everything I could want in a drama, action, suspense, heart, and even a little bit of romance. I'm already counting down the days until the next installment. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting updates.